Another challenge to man's ingenuity is the comparatively unknown world under the sea. But with the invention of the aqualung, sportsman pioneers are gradually surmounting nature's barriers. Today, with sub-aqua clubs all over the country, these enthusiasts learn the rudiments of the sport at local swimming baths before venturing to the sea. First principle is to relax, to feel at home underwater. So what better than this idea of Kingston Sub-Aqua Club, a party, the first party ever held in these conditions. This is one place you can't let your hair down, or at least it won't stay down. Father Neptune, known to his friends as Dan Macbeth, acting as host, waits at the bottom of the deep end to welcome his guests. It looks cold down there now, but it'll warm up once the party gets going. And notice the informal party dress. In fact, the only apparel specified on the invitations is a breathing apparatus and seven to 15 pounds of lead wound round the swimmer's middle to keep him down. Underwater activities have become practically part of the scenery at Kingston Baths, for during the war, service frogmen were trained here. Yet it was not until 1953 that the British Sub-Aqua Club was formed, and another 18 months later that the Kingston branch started. Although they don't look very active, they just seem to sit around and drink, they are today a thriving club of 90 members. If the waitress looks a little slow, you should make allowances. For the 30 pound air cylinder on her back, the lead weights and the other paraphernalia she's carrying about. In all that, it doesn't pay to rush about. And for the tips she can expect, she needn't bother. This is one occasion when they've got a good excuse for having left their wallets behind. One good thing about this way of eating, it teaches you to eat slowly, and for that matter, daintily. Take a few tips from one of the few women enthusiasts of the sport. Despite the fact so many are excellent swimmers, they're outnumbered in sub-aqua clubs by an average of seven to one. This is more difficult. One gets so thirsty down there, with all that water and not a drop to drink. We all know it's rude to make up at the table, but in any case, who does she think is going to notice her lips down there? Actually, these underwater frolics are not as easy as they look, although with the experience of these club members, some of the more serious seawater pursuits like spearfishing, exploring the seabed, and old wrecks can be an exhilarating experience. Sometimes hazardous too. But then every sport has its ups and downs. 